So multiplying rational expressions is not much different from just simplifying them. Uh, however, it does get a little more complex because now we involve two of them, uh, but the process remains the same. We still need to factor. We just have more things to factor this time. So we start with the top left. We have a squared minus a minus 12. Uh, it's a trinomial. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and also add to negative 1. Uh, negative 4 and 3 will do that. On the bottom, a squared minus 9 is a difference of squares. So a plus 3, a minus 3. Looking at the next one, trinomial, two numbers that both multiply to 3 and add to negative 4, negative 3 and 1, sorry, negative 3 and negative 1. And a squared minus 4a, uh, this one we only have a common factor of a that we can take out, and when we do that we're left with a minus 4. Once we've got the factoring done, we need to look for things we can cancel. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're going diagonally or straight vertically. As long as we're canceling one from the numerator, one from the denominator, that's what we need to do. Uh, so looking, we have a plus 3 with a plus 3 we can cancel. We have a minus 3 with a minus 3. a minus 4 with a minus 4. And we cannot cancel this a with this a. Uh, this a here on the top is part of a factor. We would have to cancel the entire a minus 1, which we cannot do. So it can't cancel. All that's left over is a minus 1 over a.